salve María, llena eras tú. Señor, es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por nosotros. Dios te salve María, llena eras tú. Señor, es contigo, bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres. Y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Hágase su voluntad, sin la tierra como en el cielo. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ahora en la hora de nuestra muerte. Let's stop it. You're interfering. Interfering with murder, it looks like. They killed my son. Innocente, senor. Oh, Innocente. Stay clear, Jethro! Peter. He's dead, I'm afraid. It was crazy. It was crazy. Who? Who did this? It was an old man. An old man. And a boy. A boy. Jesse. Easy, boy. Are you easy? Quince, you take care of Barry and Peters. Also those two. Is he going to be all right, Simon? He can stop the bleeding all right. Without a doctor, gangrene will set in within 48 hours. Now, we've got to get him to a town or a doctor and fast. Uh, we'll have to cut a wiki out of some of these branches. 
For a coincidence, there's a town called Regis just north of the Kansas border. Uh, when you get back, uh, tell Wishbone to bring a buckboard and come on in. We'll need it. I better bring some of the boys, too. No, you keep the herd moving north. Uh, we'll catch up to you when we're ready. What about whoever did this? Well, uh, Regis has got to have some law. Anyway, we can't worry about that now. The main thing is getting the into a dock. Look, I got a man here who's in pretty bad shape. I want to know if there's a doctor around here. I need a hotel room fast. Give him a room. Give them a room? I said give him a room, boy. Follow me. You know, there's a law about using firearms in this town, boy. But I won't mention it this time. See what I can do about getting your doctor, all right? Thanks. That's all right. That's all right. Sheriff, that's all. I know, I know, I saw them. And that's all? Old man Kane himself told me what Morgan happened. Morgan Kane didn't tell you anything. You're sweating, Walker. Get yourself a shave. You'll feel better. Put it on my tab, Jarvis. Sure, Sheriff. Now, what do they say they wanted specifically, Walker? A doctor, Sheriff. Oh, well, in that case, as soon as you get through brushing me off, Jarvis, get over there. You mean doctor that hurt Rover? Well, what do you think I'm at? If you say. I say. What if that Rover's hurt real bad? What if they have to stay on? What do you want me to do? Well, <laughs> why ask me? I ain't the doctor. You are. Walker, come here. Hold out your hand. What, are you going to read my fortune, Sheriff? You'll need this. Easy. Oh, no. no, no, don't hang me, you must have. Don't, no. Don't sort out of his head. Don't, Got such a fever. He's an old man. Chad, but he live. I'll clean him up in an hour or two. You can ride out. An hour or two? Don't, Do you know how much blood he's lost? Boy, young boy. No. I didn't say you had to ride out. I said you could. Don't, Maybe you ought to get the law chasing after whoever it was before they get away. You don't worry none about Ian now. I'll stay right here beside him. Kind of help the town dock here. No. 
you disgraced your brother enough for one day. What's wrong with you, boy? Is there no grief in you, no pain? An animal would feel more. You will go. Pa. You just blind yourself to it? Not six hours ago, you killed four men. You, we, Jethro, we. You and me, father and son, for our flesh and blood. And don't you ever forget that. We did it for him, for Vance. And we were right. The whole town knows we're right. Even Blaine. Blaine. What right has Blaine got to mourn for Vance? Somebody has to say a few words for Vance, Jethro, with no more. Why Blaine? Why him? Want to show him there's no hard feelings? To show him that you, that you understand that he was only acting in Vance's That's best wrong. interest. For... No, Pa. I'm not going. You have to. They'll all be there, every man, woman, and child in Regis, to share with us our grief. You will stand there erect and proud as your brother would have. And they put you into the ground, you understand? You'll go. You will go and face what must be faced. For us, there's no other way. Impossible. You see, there was a lynching this morning. Some people were killed. In fact, one of my men and the other one, as you saw, is kind of bad shape. Now, uh, the only problem is, is that uh, whoever did it got a half a day's head start. Take it up with the sheriff. He'll be back at four o'clock. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I told you that we got. I the told you four o'clock. You steer punches are all alike. You figure you can come into a peaceful town like this and bust it up. Take some advice. Lay off Regis. Is that some sort of a threat? Ah, don't hold it, Charlie. Hold it, Clem. You know, you're impeding the boardwalk here. We got an ordinance in Regis about that, impeding. I mean, you're causing a disturbance, impeding. Follow me? Yeah, I follow you. Uh, and we got no problems. Just one, and I got a drover named Peters who's buried out trail side. And I pointed out to you, plain and polite, what the law in Regis is. And before I enforce the law here, you better get out of Regis, cowboy.
the sheriff. Find him yourself. My people of Regis. Most of you know me for a long time. Now. Now, I ain't a man of a lot of words, as you all know. And at times like this, it's a mighty sorrowful thing that eight years ago, the Lord saw fit to take from us our only reverend. And so, it falls upon me to do the best I can. Vance Kane, 20 years old. A boy full of the wildfire of life. Sometimes too wild, as I can testify. But this same boy, Worked from dawn till dusk. Honored his father. Gave credit to this town. A boy any one of us would be proud to call our son. And now he's gone. And every one of us, friends and strangers, knows that's wrong. Wrong! Amen. 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 But all we can do now is to hope and pray that Vance Kane find sanctuary and justice in paradise. Yes. Sheriff Blaine. Sheriff Blaine. Oh, Rowdy Yates, Sheriff. I want to apologize for Walker there. He told me all about what happened. He's not too bright. You know how it is. He ain't never been more than 50 miles out of Regis. He told you about... The Lynch? Yes, he did. Yeah. Well, I was kind of hoping the law might uh, do something about it. Go after the men before they got away. But, uh... 
Maybe I was wrong. Might not have to go outside of Regis to get him. Well, after the burial, if you can give me a description of him, I'll telegraph it. Oh, I can give you a description, all right. An old man and a boy named Jethro. Kid's got a bum leg. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about a murder that no one in this town seems to be concerned about. Why? Mm -hmm. Well, you're spoofing me, Mr. Yates. You can call it murder if you like, I guess. I ain't spoofing you, and I'm calling it murder. Well, you can call it whatever you like, if that satisfies you. It doesn't satisfy me. How come these people haven't been arrested? All right, I'll tell you, Mr. Yates. The Cairns had a right to hang them two men. When I released them two drifters, I saw that Vance Kane boy asleep on the cot. When my deputy Walker came in, he found that boy dead. He was not asleep. A boy who was in for nothing more than being drunk and sassing back. Them drifters broke his neck. Does that still give the Canes the right? In my judgment. You're a lie, in my judgment, Mr. Yates. It's the product of a lifetime's experience. Go away. Forget about it, you hear me? You live long enough, someday you'll come back and thank me. Oh, yeah, sure I will. For letting them get away with killing one of my men, wounding another. One of your men? That's right. Kay never told me that. He only told me that justice was carried out. Well, I assume you'll bring him to trial, huh, Sheriff? That's what I figured. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Well, I thought I'd send a telegram to the federal marshal in Wichita. Now, you look here, Yates. You want to punish somebody for this, you punish me. It was my neglect that happened in my jail. That boy was attacked in my jail. Now, the Canes are not at fault. You want vengeance? I'm your man. I don't want vengeance. I just want justice. That's all. Yates. All right. Your way. Tomorrow noon, I'll call a coroner's inquest. And you've got any evidence you can present it there. In the meantime, if I was you, I wouldn't leave the hotel till then. Morgan Kane's got a lot of friends. They're going to be at the inquest tomorrow, Pa. Who? Them drovers? And the one at the funeral, the one with the gun? I could tell by his eyes, when he looked at us, he knew, Pa. He knew, and he's gonna come. Fear. Your whole life's an unholy testament to fear. Afraid since the day you were born. Anyway, Sheriff will take care of things. Blaine? Well, he's, he's the one to take care of things, Pa. But what if he don't? What if he can't? What if he don't even care, Pa? Suppose he decides it'd be smarter for him to let those drovers run us off to trial in Wichita. There ain't nobody going to run me off from here. Thirty years of toil and sweat, breaking hard ground and turning stone. Your mother's buried here and now Vance. And it's here I'm going to be set down. But tomorrow, Jethro, it'll be different. Tomorrow, things will start to change. It'll all begin to wash away, and we'll forget what we must forget. Sun up, we'll go ah. back to work. I'm going to bed.
Here's your guest, Sheriff Gaines. I know you're upset about having to leave your gun here, Mr. Kane, but I'm sure you'll understand and see it my way. This is a legal hearing. It's got to be conducted properly. That means the witnesses can't carry guns. I understand that, Sheriff, but why's there got to be a trial? You know what I did was right. You know it was right. Yes, I know that, Mr. Kane. But would you rather have it settled here in Regis or Wichita? Your friends or the federal government? Real justice? Well, the kind of justice you'd get slapped across your face by outsiders. That's why, Mr. Kane, we're your friends. Thank you, Mr. Kane. Ah, good day, sir, Mr. Morgan. And good day, Mr. Devereaux. You got a violent streak to you, just like your brother. Don't walk her. You... Why don't you go over to the town hall and see if everything's all set? Yes. Don't be edgy, Jethro. Nothing's going to happen to you or your Paul. Well, you better make sure that nothing happens. And I mean him too, your toad walker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about Walker. I'll handle him. Well, you better. You ain't threatening me, are you, boy? I guess there is a bit of your brother Vance in you, ain't there? He was always one for pride in it and living his betters. But you'd know more about that than me, or even your pa, wouldn't you, boy? But you and me know something else, don't we, boy? Just you and me. Even Walker don't know that. No. Just telling you how things are. How they are and how we want them to stay. And what I mean is that I think it's just about time you signed over this creek land to me like we talked. Now, you sign it here, Jeffro, right here. And we'll get your father to think that uh, you lost the creek land gambling. Hmm? You said... You said after the inquest. All right. You're smart, Jethro. Real smart. All right. After the inquest. You are the first witness. Take the chair. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, etc., etc., etc.? I do. Go ahead. What? Tell your story. Well, it's quite simple, really. Yesterday morning, Ed Peters and I were riding point ahead of the drive. And we saw two men about to be hanged. Well, we tried to stop them, but... But what? What reasons do you have for not stopping them? Because he tried to kill him, that's why! <laughs> Will you stop rapping that thing when I'm talking? You shut up or I'll hold you in contempt. Oh, you try to hold me in anything, and I'll put you I so deep you down, down into the where the... You'll take it easy. Will you leave me alone? What's the matter with you? You claim you were shot. Is that right? No. 
No, what? I don't claim I was shot. I was shot. You should know. You took care of it. I took care of it, but that don't prove nothing. It's still just your word. Now, you were shot off your horse on the ground. Is that true? Yes. Then you didn't ever actually see anybody shoot. You just, uh, allege that... Now, look! I don't allege. And I don't claim. He was the one who did it. He killed Peters. The two men that Mr. Yates found hanging, he hung. He and that boy seated next to him. I warned him. I told him he was doing the devil's work. But, Pa, don't say no more. Look, you leave us alone, understand? He didn't mean to hurt no one. He didn't mean to shoot you. But he did shoot me! And you did kill pieces! And you hanged us! That's enough. You're out of order. You all right, boy? Yes, I'm all right. Look, this man's not on trial here. You're out of order, I said. Ain't he? Sheriff? I ain't the judge here, Mr. Yates. I think maybe you are. I think you don't know very much about Regis. You're a stranger here. Did you say the witness was dismissed, Mr. Jarvis? Witness is dismissed. No more witnesses. I guess the jury can retire to reach a verdict. I think maybe there are. I think you ought to call them. You uh, talking about the Canes? That's right. We already know where they was. At home. Shocked and rendered helpless by the tragic news of their loss. You want me to call witnesses to testify to that fact, Yates? I can. Yeah, I'll bet you can. Probably the lawmen around here were all staying home with them. Huh? That's why they couldn't prevent the hanging. Why don't you call Sheriff Blaine? Hmm. I have no testimony to offer, Mr. Yates. I have no legal standing here except as keeper of the peace. And like you, I will have to abide by the findings of that jury. Not only will I have to, but I will. So will you. Unless you're a bigger fool than I take you for. The jury reached a verdict. In our opinion, since not the slightest proof of a crime even having been committed in this territory has been established, we, the jury, find no reason to hold Morgan Jethro Kane over for trial. So say y'all. Aye. 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 This inquest is done and over. Sorry, but the telegraph is, uh, uh... Well, the wires ain't down here exactly, but, uh... Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. I got something to say to you. Uh, I want you to leave us alone. You understand? You've had your day in court now. I just leave us alone. You expect me to forget that you killed one of my men? We didn't mean for none of it to happen. I'll say it once. I regret what happened. I have no shame over the hanging of those two. 
But I do regret the death of your man. I want no more killing. You keep coming at me, you'll be doing Satan's work. You keep coming at me, and before long, one of us will be in the ground. You listen to me, Cain. I'm taking you and your boy into Wichita for a fair trial. Now, you can go get your gear and meet me here in town, or uh, I'll come out and get you either way. I'm going to my house, Yates, and I'm going to bed. In the morning, I'm going to my field. You try to come take us. May the Lord have mercy on your soul, because I won't. I don't think I want to wait till morning. Neither do I. Just till dark, Wish. deputize them and send them over to Kane's place. Walker, come on. in slow. Lodi, posse's ready. It's all off. You mean Blaine don't want a posse? Sheriff said for y'all to go on back home. He said him and Walker will handle it themselves. You did a very good job, Lodi. Now all you gotta do is just sit here and cool your heels and keep your mouth shut and we're here to see you do just that. you and the boy in. Dan, I swear to you, I'll take you in one way or the other. over there. We'll do this my way. One more step and you're dead. All right, toss your guns over behind that rubble there. Mr. Kane! 
Looks like you have a couple of trespassers here. I warn them, Sheriff. You know I warn you. I told them to stay clear of my land. Well, that's your right and do. A man always has a right to kill in self-defense. And if I were you, sir, I'd go right to it. You heard him. Now, clear off! Go ahead. Kill him. Kill him! Kill him, Kane! No, Pop! No more killing! No more! I was the one who done it, Paul. All of it. I killed him. I never meant to do it, Paul. But you didn't know him like I did. Lie. Cheat. Taunting me all the time, taunting me. You better shut him up, Wayne. All right, that's enough talk now, boy. I ain't afraid of you no more, Sheriff. You do whatever you want to do. Who, boy? Who was it you killed? My brother. I killed my brother, Paul. Jethro, you're lying. Why are you lying to me, Jethro? Like your paw says, boy. You're lying! I ain't lying, Paul. And he knows I killed Vance. It was him who found me with Vance dead. And I've got his toad walker to hide Vance's body in the jail. You tell your paw you're lying, boy. You hear me? You tell him! I killed Vance. In the alleyway right behind the town. I didn't mean to do it, Pa. I was just trying to get him to come home like you said, but... But he was drunk. And he started... He started taunting me... about my leg again. Oh, I should have been a, a daughter like, like Ma always wanted. I couldn't stand it no more, Pa, coming from him. I couldn't stand it no more! And I, I took that whiskey bottle away from him and... And I hit him. And I hit him. And I hit him. And I hit. Paul. It wasn't them two that we hung that did it. It was me. I was the one who killed Vance! How do you know it was you that killed your brother, Jethro? How do you know he's even dead when Walker hauled him off to jail, huh? I want to kill him. I want to kill that guy. Walker, you better tell us what happened, huh? Was Vance Kane dead or alive when you hauled him off that jail? Did you kill him? I think you better answer him. Come on, Walker, you better tell us. Come on! 
All right, all right. It was a lie. Shut it! I only did it because Blaine told me to do it. You shut your mouth, Walker! But it was you who told me to work him over. It was Blaine who told me to finish our vans. It was Blaine. Blaine. Everything is always Blaine. All right. Now you better drop them guns. Now! Come down here, Kane. Good as new. In a couple of days, I'll be much better. When do I get my horse back? A few more days. Mr. Yates, do you think a town like Regis ever can change? I, don't know, I guess everything changes eventually. Either it changes or dies. At least now it'll have a chance. We'll see you all in Wichita. Oh. 